Wenzhen Yang is all smiles today. The news that China will resume outbound group travel to Hungary and 20 other countries is something he has waited for the past three years. Sheng, as tourists commonly know him, is one of the most sought-after Chinese tour guides in Budapest. He also leads groups to the Balkans and other countries in Central Europe, which he says are eager to see Chinese tourists once again. Every, every single uh, country, they will stay like one or two, two days or maximum uh, three days and uh, they, they will go uh, yeah. somewhere else. That's good for the local economy, it brings uh, money in. Yeah, yeah, of course. Victor Vedev agrees his company specializes in Chinese group tourism to Hungary and Central Europe. The Chinese travelers' impact on the global uh, tourism industry was very, very massive. In 2019, pre-pandemic, Chinese made 170 million international trips. Before the pandemic struck, Europe was a major destination for Chinese travelers. Their numbers boomed in Hungary during that time. Right before the COVID-19 pandemic, the number of Chinese visitors that came to Hungary reached a record high, 280,000 in 2019. Industry experts hope to see those numbers come back up this year. It's been a difficult period for restaurant owners and other tourist-related businesses. They hope the influx of visitors from China will help them stay afloat. I think it's really good for the Hungarian market, especially for Budapest, because they're mostly coming in the capital. Um, it's not just good for the hotels, and also, just as you mentioned, the shops, but also for the restaurants, especially the, the steakhouses. The Chinese people really like the seafood dishes. The average stay of Chinese tourists in Budapest is about two days. Still, Berev and his companies are trying to help them extend their stay in the country by promoting other destinations in Hungary that are less known to the Chinese market. For April, we have a bunch of um, uh, incentive groups uh, coming to Hungary and spending here seven or eight nights only in Hungary. So this is something that pre-pandemic was very, very rare, that the Chinese come to Europe and spending seven, eight days in Hungary only. But this is also at the same time, it's a golden opportunity because now we can show what we got uh, apart from Budapest. Three new direct flights between China and Budapest were re-established last year. Something industry experts say will help boost the number of visitors to the region.